Adobe just released their new generative tool, Firefly AI for Photoshop beta. I'm going to show you how to access the beta and how to use it in Adobe Photoshop. So this is Photoshop and Adobe Firefly. And the tool we are looking at is generative fill. What it allows you to do is generate anything with a text prompt. It is able to change the background of images and change reflections. Here you can see the use of generative AI to fill in the lake of this image that was missed in the original picture. So let me show you guys how to access this awesome technology. You're going to go to Adobe Creative Cloud on the desktop. You're going to go up to apps. And once you're here, you will click into desktop apps and you will click install on the Photoshop beta. But I have already installed it as you can see. Once you have it, you press the open button here and it's going to start Photoshop in beta. I've loaded this image into Photoshop and we're going to go up into the left hand corner here and select the lasso tool. And I'm going to select some area here on the pavement. And once that selects, we can then right click and generative fill. So I'm going to write brown dog and then press the generate button and it's going to go off and do its thing. And once that generates, we then get a few different options. We can click the right arrow here and browse through the different sort of dogs we want. I think that one fits in the best. If we didn't like that, we could press the generate button again and it's going to go off and generate us some more samples for us to use. That one looks better, that one not so much. I am going to stick with the first one. And as you can see, that just makes a new layer for that particular image we just generated. Now I also want to add a garage here. So I'm going to select this and going to go into generated fill and garage. And as you can see, that's not the best looking, but what we can do is then pick which sample we want to use that looks the best. So that's, that's kind of funny. I'm going to type some more words in garage with roller door white and press enter on that to generate. And as you can see, that's actually removed the whole garage and select these different prompts here again. That one, not so good. The, the van one's kind of funny to me. I think that's, it's not what I wanted, but it has just removed the garage altogether, which is kind of funny. I'm gonna leave it like that. Back to the lasso tool. We can also just do an empty prompt if we want to remove something from the scene. So I'm not going to put any prompt in here and let's see what it gives us back. And as you can see, that has removed the numbers from the house. And again, we have a few different versions. So that this one here actually keeps the sort of line on the timber slats there. And this one is kind of a bit higher. We can also do something else. Let's put some flowers right here. Colorful flowers. And as you can see, we now have some different flowers to pick from. I like those, we will keep them. What if I wanted this garage door actually to be open? We can select this and open garage door with car halfway out. And as you can see, the first one is kind of funny. Uh, that one again, sort of funny. Uh, like it's been in a car crash this one uh let's let's do that again with car inside that one's better yeah, still needs some work back to the lasso tool what if i wanted a moon here moon and sky and the thing is we're in we're in photoshop right so i can literally just move this layer however i want so if, if it doesn't look good on the first try i can literally just there we go, that one looks better. But that looks kind of cool there, I reckon. What if we wanted the sun over this side? So you sort of have to play around with prompts like you would with GPT and figure out which works the best. How about this window? What if I wanted this to be an open window? Window, open, one, out, oops. So it's sort of done it here. You can see it's got a little bit of an opening there. I mean, that's pretty good for Photoshop. It's first beta release. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.